A few months ago, I went on a journey of wanting to replace my old iron. Ultimately, there is nothing wrong with it. I love this iron. It's worked forever. I've had it forever. I still use it for the mini perler beads, but I wanted something larger, something with a larger surface. And as you can see, irons range widely in prices. They're all over the place, but they're all about the same size, which is expected. They're meant for clothes, not for perler beads. So I decided to go on Reddit and see what people recommended, and that's when I stumbled across the Cricut Easy Press. It has a nice, large, flat surface that can range in sizes from 9x9 to 12x10. There are several bundles, but all I was looking for was the Easy Press itself. And as with anything, you want to go on the internet and just compare prices, see who has it on sale. If they have it on sale at a better price in store, then go to that store and buy it. But if it's cheaper online, definitely buy it online. But Typically, you'll find it for about 130 bucks for the 12 by 10 and 100 bucks for the 9 by 9. You might be wondering what the difference is between the Easy Press 2 versus the Easy Press 3. And as far as I can tell, it's real simple. The Easy Press 3 has Bluetooth capabilities. This is entirely meant for like the true purpose of the Easy Press for using it on like totes or t-shirts with using their app to control everything. I don't see any benefit to it. I don't see the point of getting the 3. So I would consider just sticking with the two. Plus the price is going to be better. You can see here, this is my Easy Press 2. It's the 12 by 10 model. It's super easy to use. I keep mine set to 300 degrees as it's warming up here and occasionally use the timer as just a visual reminder for how long I've been ironed. Bigger perler projects will take longer and smaller projects will take less time. It all just depends. You'll get a feel for it. The large flat surface is why I can't recommend this iron enough. Again, mine is the 12x10 model, but there is a 9x9 if that's the size you're looking for. It just makes ironing perler beads so much easier, especially the larger perler bead creations I've been making recently. I just feel that you get a much more even iron look to it when completed. And also, it comes with a tray to put your iron into safely when you're done, and it needs to cool down. That way you don't have to worry about it at an angle on a table. As you can see here, Ironing is, is exactly the same as you'd use your, with your old iron. You'd use the same techniques. You don't have to press down or do anything like that. You just go in circles, up, down, left, right. Just, you know, alternate your circles as you normally would. And you'll get the exact same look and feel just with a much better iron. As I've stated, I recommend this iron slash easy press for pro V projects. Its price point might be an issue for some, and I totally understand. However, if you've been making perler bead creations for a while now, like I have been, I 100% think it's worth the investment. Hope this helps, and if you haven't already, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button.